The purpose of today's forum is to invite discussion from experts and thought leaders with a stake in the future of women in mining and gain valuable insights on these challenges and ways to address them. Congratulations to all of you who are in the mining industry because you are trailblazers and I think you hold very influential positions to be able to affect change and create a demonstration effect. How are we thinking about the young people of Africa in our mining processes? Are we simply looking at extraction and beneficiation in first world or developed countries? The mining in Dorba is a very important event for the country. We are at the dawn of significantly more demand for metals and minerals. Africa is significantly well positioned to benefit from that demand. I always think of mining as, as a, almost a, a diplomatic endeavour as well as a, an economic endeavour because I see it very much as a global connector and for me it brings to mind the African proverb, if you want to walk fast, walk alone, but if you want to go on a long journey, walk together. We're beginning with one of the most topical issues in mining in Africa, the green hydrogen uh, economy future and the quest to decarbonize. The South African green hydrogen story is not very well understood or well told. This space will be led by the private sector. Our role is to create the conducive environment such that those investments become commercially viable and are attractive on an international basis. I really want to speak about what juniors are doing in Africa because it's very often the juniors that actually lead the pathway into Africa and open the doors. Ghana has a long and well established relationship with Australia not only in the mining sector. The mining industry contributes significantly to Ghana's economy. Gold alone provides approximately 40 percent of our export earnings. We can uh, leverage on the well-endowed mineral resources that we have so that we can create other industries, create manufacturing, move into the value chain in terms of mineral beneficiation so that uh, uh, we can sustain uh, livelihoods and care for the environment.